Your knowledge base will often contain data that is repeated many times throughout the documentation, like your company name and address, emails, phone numbers, or phrases, and even entire paragraphs. Some of this information may even change over a period. Document 360 offers a couple of features under the Content Reuse section that help with dealing with these types of data named variables and snippets. Let's first look at how we can store information in variables and use it within a project. Click New Variable and let's create one for our customer care phone number. Give a relevant name. By default, the variable will be available to use anywhere in our project, but we can limit the visibility to the current language by turning off the global toggle. Enter the phone number in the value field. Click Add and let's go into our documentation. Under the technical support category, we have an article that helps users get in touch with their customer care team and we'd like to enter the phone number here. There are a couple of ways to do this. One is by clicking on Content Reuse and find a variable, then click Insert. Or if we know the merge code value, we can simply type that here. If we publish the article, we can see the updated phone number. The great thing about using variables to handle this type of data is that if the phone number changes in the future, we can simply edit the variable and it will affect every instance throughout the documentation. We can view all the articles where a particular variable is used within the project by clicking here. Now let's look at snippets. A snippet is a predefined set of content blocks that the content manager or author identifies as reusable content. The contents of a snippet can vary from simple text or phrases to lengthy paragraphs, tables, images, and more. Let's create a snippet this time for a confidentiality clause. We can use the formatting tools to design the snippet and even add images and hyperlinks. Now let's go into an article and insert the snippet. Once we publish it, we can see the content here. We can also insert a snippet as a local copy, which allows us to use just the contents of the snippet but is disconnected from the original. This means that any changes you make here or to the original snippet will not affect each other. This can be useful when you require old information that never changes, like a privacy policy for a specific product that's obsolete. And just like with variables, we can see where the snippets are being used, excluding the ones that were added as a local copy. As you can see, using snippets and variables to handle repetitive data within your project can help you quickly append information to any article and efficiently manage large-scale changes to your documentation.